Greetings, welcome back. This is uh, Lord Virgilus, and we're going to be continuing our journey through Dragon Warrior 3. So in this episode, we're going to the Cave of Enchantment. But at first, seeing that I have the Thief Key, I'm going to go all around and use the Thief Key to see what I can do to find out what the hell's going on. Da, 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 da. Oh, I need a might item. Might need a item. Magic ball. Interesting. Uh, what's this guy? He better not be sleeping. He wants to stay on the far seas. Okay. Well, hopefully he can do that. So I might just cut to a few things here and there. I just want to mainly. I know there's a few of them, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut one and go back in the castle. All right, I'm back, and we're gonna be doing this one. Let's see what this gentleman has to say. Apparently, the magic ball is in the reef. So okay, and this is a different type of door, so I can't use the thief key on it because the key doesn't fit. So, I need another key for it. So, let's go over this one. Open up! And let's, what do you have to say? Okay, the travel is something but Okay, travel door. I need the magic ball for the travel door. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, so if I go this way, I'm going to probably go back to the, that underground passageway. Yeah, this is the guy that made the thief key, but he, you know, he got jailed. And the old man in the tower took his key. Well. And I believe this will give us a shortcut back to this place. Yes, okay. Actually, I need to go back there, but I won't go back there right now. So I remember seeing a big door in the alternative exit to the, uh, that the waterway. Okay, so I know I have to go in Reeve, so I might see you back at the town of Reeve. Because, uh, well... I don't want to... Actually, I'm almost there, so I might as well just go. Because I'm going to fast... I'm going to fast travel! The old-fashioned way called the return. Actually, can I just do it in... I'm pretty sure I can just do it in, in, anywhere. Except for, like, villages. Oh, yes. Why don't I just do that? Okay, so here we're going to be at Reeve. And I know we have one at the end, so we'll see what this one is. Alright. Obviously, it's no, like, big treasures yet, so... Oh, it's a dude. Let's see. Okay. Alright, dude. I don't think there's anything up there. There's a small kid, yes. So, like I said before, do talk to everyone in the village. It kind of gives you an idea of where you're going, and even like a little thing here and there. It's a horse. Nay! Nay! <laughs> it, it, it does help you where to go, so... I do know where to go, so... Can I search spot? I don't think I can search spots in this. No, I can't, no. Oh, hey, dude, what's going on? Oh, okay. Um, you heard my story already. Go ahead and break the seal with this magic ball. I have a magic ball. Ooh, I have a magic ball. Awesome. Kick ass. So, we have a magic ball, so... We're going to be going to uh, use that magic ball, I guess, somewhere. So I got pretty much everything I'm good. There's one more place I want to go before I go to the Cave of Enchantment. And I can't go there because that's a different type of key I need. So this place here. And of course, that's two slimes, so... See, if I use Fireball on one of them, it's only going to hit one of them, so it's... So if it separates them, fireball is useless. 
for group enemies. Even though they're the same. It's ridiculous, I don't know why that, that is. So let's go for big money. Yeah, two church chests, let's go for it. I have an agility seed, awesome. So that agility seed is definitely going for my leader, because I want to pump my my leader up super big. So yes. So I actually didn't get hit, awesome! Like, I can actually make some progress in this time, so yes. Okay, so we're gonna go east towards the mountains and over here. And I'm gonna probably get hit by enemies I found in the tower. Awesome. So, okay, so we're going to not use magic. Because, you know, going all out is okay, but you gotta conserve magic definitely in this game. So I brought the medical herbs because I don't want to use heal spells all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave some battles in and some battles I'm not gonna like the ones with two enemies, same may three or group of enemies. Basically ones I can kill very easily, I'm gonna leave in the one I get poisoned. Son of a bitch. See, that little red flash means that I'm poisoned, so... Bastard, see? I hate those babbles, man. And I'm gonna cut this Celsius in a moment. Scorpion flies! So I'm back, yes, okay. So we're gonna go in here. And obviously we need a thief key. No, I don't use the magic ball. And I use the thief key. And what do you have to say, dude? Does ye have the magic ball? Yes, I have some magic balls. Then we go to the end. Awesome. Cool. So what if I say no? I have to go back to read I don't have the magic ball. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, dude. So we're going up to this little lake up here, and we're going to go down the hole. This little hole over here, we're going to go down it. And we're into the Cave of Enchantment. What do you call it? Yeah. I think that, hopefully that I'm saying it right. Okay, I'm not saying it right, but I don't know exactly. I thought it was Enchantment, but okay, anyway. I'll use the Magic Ball on the... On the on the wall. Okay, so, let's go. Apparently I Hulk smashed that wall. Hulk smash, yes, Hulk smash. So here we go, we're in the this cave of... some cave, I really... Okay, this is gonna be tough. Yes, parry, and yes, fireball. Ouch. Actually, I don't even think Fireball will actually kill them, which is going to be concerning. Ah, uh, yes. See, we're running into tougher enemies already. Okay, so yes. If I run into enemies that... Oh my god, it's a demon anteater! And you will go there, and you're gonna parry, definitely parry, because I don't want you to die. Freaking here, left. Okay, so yes, we're gonna go. Like I said, I haven't practiced this way, so I'm not totally sure where to go. Ooh, awesome. I guess this is where you go if you're if you fell down the hole. So yes, we're gonna be. A little lost because I'm not 100% sure where to go. So we're gonna. If I have to cut in the middle of the episode, because I'm leaving battles in because I'm talking through them. 
Alright, so... I think that may be it for the monsters. The new monsters, the demon anteater, the scorpion, and the magician, so... If they're... Pretty much... Oh, we got a caterpillar, too. Now, these guys are a little tough, so... And they do take off a lot. Like at the beginning. And they can they can take a punishment, too, so... Two big characters can finish them. So, I think that may be it. Hopefully. Okay, so I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. I was going to say welcome back, but I got immediately hit the, right after I was... Right after the other battle. Ugh. Okay, it's just one caterpillar. Takes two hits. Hopefully... Anyway, like I said, I'm, this, this cave is this, this cave is going to be a little on that. I'm, I'm just going to be wandering because I'm not totally sure where to go. Another caterpillar. I haven't played this game in a little bit of time, so yes, do bear with me. I like I know where a basic where to go, but the caves, I'm. I'm drawing a blank, pretty much. Alright, let's see if I'm going to be cutting... Yes, I'm going to be cutting, so I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. Yes, I also want to point out that the spike tears, for the purple rabbits in this, can also cause sleep, which is really, um, really not good. Especially ma paired up with the, uh, the, the mask moths. I'm pretty sure I went over here. No, I did not. Okay, so yeah, they 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 could ruin you fast. So you got to be very quick and deal with them very quickly. Okay, I'll be seeing in a moment. Welcome back, and I'm going to be going this way. All right, where the hell am I going? Okay, so. Good. Hopefully, do it quickly and get rid of these guys quickly, yes. If there's like four of them, holy cow, like, just careful not to fall asleep. Uh, as you can see, the flow of battle, like, when you go in and out of rooms, you get ambushed insanely, so I'm going to see you in a moment. Welcome back, and I'm going to heal my wizard. Because she's getting a little bit low. Yeah, that's that's like I said in the second episode. You want to keep your HP high. Oh, good lord! Sure, so yeah, demon editors are regular. They're just color swapped, and they're just a bit stronger. That's about it. Other than that, they're pretty much the same as regular regular giant ant eaters. No spells, no any, no tactics. So let's hope I can just disperse these guys quickly, so I can move on. All right. Hopefully I don't get hit again. Okay, let's go down here. Also try to not fall down the hole because you'll end up in that big area where I went down. Oh, treasure chest. Okay, let's see what's in the treasure chest. And we got an antidote herb, awesome, because there's poison enemies around here. And we're gonna go... Oh, jeez, I have a feeling it's... At least I'm running into four of them, because there's a piece of nightmarish. Okay, so that was good. You just want to get rid of them as soon as possible. I know one of, this, one of these ways leads to a dead end. And it doesn't help that I'm running into enemies all the time, too. Wow. Nine damage to me. Holy cow. That's a little more than... Alright, okay, this is the one that leads nowhere, hopefully. And if I'm going to run into a battle... Here? No, oh my god, I can run into a battle. It's a miracle! Holy cow, it's a miracle! Holy cow, I'm I, I'm actually proceeding. This is great. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's not jinx it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 and hit. Oh my god, here we go. 
Oh my god, I'm I'm really getting lucky right now. I'm not getting hit. Fantastic. Okay, so oh, I speak of the devil. Okay. Actually, speak of the demon anteater. I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, and hopefully I get not hit. Holy cow, I'm definitely cutting this. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, and I'm going to heal up a little bit because that uh, last battle with the four magicians definitely, well, didn't really hit me too well because I used that parry technique. Key, especially with magicians, you want to use the parry technique because they can really, really take off a lot because they use blaze, and blaze takes off unprotected, probably at least anywhere from 7 to 9 to 10 damage. And that adds up, especially if you're getting constantly pounded by 4. And I got a magic knife, yay, I don't need it, but I got a magic knife. Oh, I still forgot to say that Scott, uh, Scott's got a chain sickle also, because... Oh, yes, this is where we're going. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't know where to go. Sound like I'm doing a blind run, but I'm actually just I'm void of memory of where to go, exactly. Like I know where to go, just how to get there is really I'm drawing a blank right now. It's good that I'm a little bit above level, because holy cow, if you're Pretty much just going one place to another place to another place without doing a bit of grinding. Oh my god. Oh, talk, talk, speak of, speak of the hair. I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, and I actually should have actually showed that battle because holy cow, it was exactly the annoyance of what those hairs can do. They just put you to sleep, and then the other one puts you to sleep. Whoever didn't get put to sleep, got put to sleep, and it just, oh, it just utterly annoyed me, and, well, they could have actually easily killed my wizard easily, but not. Like I said, anything with, like, two or three enemies, I'm gonna leave in because I can easily dispatch them, unless it's, unless it's, oh, unless I, oh, I'm definitely cutting this, so I'll see him back in a moment. Welcome back, and that was a perfect battle to actually show. Okay, I'm going to leave this in because I want to show you how easy it is, and this is why you want to keep... not use magic like every battle, because you want to save your wizard's magic for battles like this, because you want to use Fireball and just wipe out the entire party. There you go. Simple as that. So you don't want to use, like, Blaze or Ice Bolt on a single enemy. Especially when you're trying to get somewhere. Alright, so let's see. I'm pretty sure this leads nowhere. Fantastic. And I'll see you in a moment. Yay, now everyone's ahead of me in level. Okay. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, you guys are pissing me off. Seriously. These guys, they're just annoying because they really do a lot of damage to my wizard, so please die. I'm really glad I actually left that in because they do a lot to my wizard. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Damn it. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Well, come back, and hopefully I can dispatch. Yes, it's just a caterpillar. And I gotta stop doing that. I actually gotta parry with this guy because he can take off a lot of damage. I should take my own advice. Okay, so hopefully I can go a little bit over here and without getting hit too much. Okay, this is not bad. Yes. So I know that Villa. Vanilla will most likely, or your leader, will most likely go first, so that's why I want to get rid of the guy who's potentially a threat right away. 
Man, I don't want to get poisoned, so... Now, if there was three hairs and one babble, I would get the hairs on. Or four hairs. Okay, I'm gonna see if I... I'm gonna leave this battle in and see if they're utterly annoying like they did last time. Of course not, because I'm annihilating them right now. But the... Oh my god, three people asleep! Look at that. And if there is more than one, the other one would do sleep. And everyone would be asleep, and then he or they would just kind of nudge and nudge and nudge. And if they hit my wizard... Oh man, it's game over. Okay, so here we are. We're finally going at the teleport place that teleports me somewhere. And here we are. Okay. Let's see where we are. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop it right there. Leave you a little bit of a cliffhanger of where we are. So until next time, this is Lord Virgilus saying farewell. <laughs>